What's up guys? This is Ruben Lenten, reporting here from Cape Town, one of my favorite places on the planet. Um, Everybody is always asking me for critical tips to jump higher, basically to maximize their jumping. So today's video is all about giving you some critical advice on how you can maximize your jumping each session. Obviously, the gear that you use has a lot to do with how high you can jump. Also, the conditions are very important that determine how high and how big you can jump. Personally, I really like jumping on my edge because it's a, it's a bow kite, it's a flat structured kite and this just has more lift, more hang time, it's very easy to handle and it will just shoot you to the moon. So the bigger size you can hold down, the better. I would say riding a 9 meter overpowered is perfect. Obviously you have to work your way up to that and another massively important thing for jumping high is timing and control obviously. All the pieces of the puzzle need to come together. But it already starts uh, when you get to the spot that you exactly uh, check out where you can jump best. You check the angle of the wind, you check the timing of the waves or if it's flat water where the wind is pumping through. Maybe you're looking for a gust. So really uh, find the best location where you can jump as soon as you get to the spot. Then you can also already see how much distance you have between you and the beach, for example, or uh, between you and any obstacles. Always be very aware of riders around you before you're gonna take off massively and be in the air for a while. Because a lot of things can change, people can turn around and you really need to be aware of your space around you. So once you've picked your location, where you're gonna position your jump for that session, then once you're underwater, it's really important to uh, manage your speed. Managing your speed towards your takeoff point is the most important thing. What helps me a lot is by looking far ahead, I can exactly pinpoint the takeoff spot and then hop over a few waves before and then hitting the biggest wave out the back. Because then if I look far ahead, I know exactly how I can manage my speed accordingly. It can also be on flat water, of course, but yeah, you just have to look far ahead and then just find a chop, uh, a piece of flat water where you can take off properly. Then we get to the takeoff. This is where you want to have all things come together. The timing, your body position, uh, and cranking that kite all the way to the back. So what is very important with the takeoff, you can uh, put the board a little bit more flat to get more speed. And just before the takeoff, you start hanging more and you really go to that upwind uh, angle because the pop is past upwind. It's about building as much tension between you and the kite as possible. And that's obviously, you need speed for that. So keep your board a bit flat. Some, some guys are even doing a little pop before they go into their takeoff. That's how they build up more tension and more pressure uh, for that ultimate takeoff. So what you really want to do, you pinpoint your takeoff spot, you manage your way there, well, full speed, move the kite slowly a bit up, and then just edge all the way with your back foot into the wind, and then at the same time pull your kite to 12 o'clock and past 12 o'clock and really kick hard against it. Now, as soon as you take off, your board, because you kick really hard, your board will fly behind you, and then the kite, keep it going past 12, because you need this, in order to stop your airspeed. Because you'll be riding very fast that way, and some people, they just steer their kite until 12, and they keep flying very fast that way, and then they come in for the landing, and then they just, yeah, explode on the landing. So how I stop that is by managing my airspeed. So as soon as I had that good takeoff spot, then have the kite super fast, boom, to 12 o'clock, and even past 12 o'clock. Because why I steer my kite past 12 o'clock is because I have a lot of speed going that way, and if I only jump and put my kite to 12, and then, whoop, sheet in. Then I'll just fly very fast that way. And then I need to come in for the landing by sending my kite again. And I will have too much speed on the, on the landing. So I see a lot of people, they explode. So what you can really do after that takeoff, your legs will swing back. And then, yeah, you're, you're pulling your knees. So you're yeah, one with your kite. As if you pull in your knee, your stomach muscles will tense up. And this just makes you yeah, much more in control and one with your kite, that really helps. And then once in the air, I always look downwind. I see a lot of people, they jump and then they keep looking there and then yeah, you get out of balance. So what I do, I jump, boom, kick really hard. I keep my kite going past 12 o'clock, so I stop my forward speed actually and look in the direction where I'm flying. Up until my highest point, I just keep my kite on the side and then yeah, once I start dropping, then whoop, slowly move it to 12, then the kite will catch you. 
And then last minute, two meters before the water, you can dive your kite a bit more aggressively to get that yeah, little lift and uh, forward speed again to come in for that landing. So I think with these tips, yeah, you can start uh, holding down a bigger kite. You can read your playground a bit better. Be aware of your surroundings, of other riders or any obstacles, because if you go big, you can fly way past your imagination. So make sure you have enough space between you and the beach and other riders and obstacles. It's very important. Uh, think about the direction where you look at. So look downwind once you're in the air to remain stable. Also managing your airspeed by moving the kite backwards is very important. And then obviously coming in for that landing with the kite a little more aggressive to get some forward speed again. And then always land tilt to nose first and you're gonna be a boss. Now with all these tips in mind, I really, really uh, encourage you to visualize as visualization is one of the most powerful uh, tools known to mankind, so use it. I kite in my head all the time and trying to figure out my ways. So uh, I highly suggest you do the same and uh, crank it to the next level. Enjoy your sessions and in the next video I will explain you some, uh, some loops. When the timing is right, how to get into them. So I hope you enjoy it. Send it! <laughs>